Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Adi Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a requested class, yoga for office. Yoga for people that sit on the computer a lot, yoga for office workers, people that get stressed out with mental tasks. So we're gonna take a quick 10 minute getaway from the office, get away in the head, we're still probably gonna be in the office, but get away so that we can relax, unwind, relax the mind, relax the facial muscles and the uh, computer muscles, <laughs> the computer muscles. So remember to flow with strength and ease. We will begin standing. So try to bring equal amount of weight on both feet. Roll the shoulders back and down, bring your attention to your posture because that's what happens when we sit at a computer. We tighten through the hips, we hunch over, the shoulders fall forward and we begin to take shallow breaths. We collapse the lungs, collapse the belly and round the back. So we want to reverse this process, step on your feet with intention, feel your feet, lift the muscles above the knees, pull the belly in, engage the core. So you're gonna find a neutral, neutral alignment through the spine. Finding that natural curve, roll the shoulders up, back, and drop them down. So now you're standing toe, lifting through the crown of the head, lifting the back of the neck, front of the neck, elongating. The chest is open, and instead of popping your chest soldier-like, find width, openness, through the heart, through the chest, without that exaggerated soldier stance. So the chest is open lifting through the crown of the head. That allows for proper breathing, proper circulation through the body, to the head, to the brain. So you can think, think a little more clearly. Nice deep breaths. Bring your hands over the belly. Inhaling and exhaling and allow the belly to expand when you inhale. Cultivating smile, corners of the lips are lifting and you begin to relax the face muscles, the jaw, the eyes. So now while we're breathing, we're also, without wasting any time, we're gonna also relax the eyes. So close the eyes and let them drop into their sockets as if they're dropping back into your head. Relaxing the eye muscles with the eyes closed or with the eyes open you can now look straight up down up down up down up down great side to side now right left right left using the full range of motion in the eye Continue taking deep inhalations, complete exhalations, relaxing the face muscles. A few more side to side and now diagonally. Left corner, top, down right. Opposite side opposite, along the opposite diagonal. Let's bring the eyes open and draw a few circles with the eyes. Again, use the full range of motion in the eye without wrinkling the eyes. You don't want to wrinkle the forehead, wrinkle the eyes. So relax the face and just move the eyes. That will relax your eyes. Scan your room, big circle. 
opposite direction you feel this as a nice relaxation in your eyes you can take even a minute break while you're working and just do that relaxing the face muscles and doing a few eye exercises great and here you can use your hands if they're clean if not without the hands you can bring your um, index finger along the eyebrow lift the eyebrow slightly and open it out so you're gonna lift and open out and we're gonna blink without squeezing the eyes just blinking and feeling the muscles right right above the eye so lift the eyebrow and open it out and blink 10 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten relax and we're going to bring the right hand on top of the head on the left side and try to lengthen both sides of the neck lower here and really relax here we're relaxing all the muscles stretching them along the left side of the neck smile again relax the face muscles and the jaw keep your elbow back and keep the chest open the back wide the shoulders relaxed and down we're maintaining proper upright posture without tension in the chest or in the shoulders Great, relax, opposite side. So while you're smiling, bring energy into your cheeks. The cheeks are lifting so your face is not becoming long and saggy. You're bringing energy in this direction, up and out. And you're gonna think about the energy that you're bringing into the face, into the neck keep your left elbow back bring your head over to the left left ear over the left shoulder keeping the elbow back beautiful here this one is really important you can do it seated you can do it standing do it a couple times during the day and we're going to bring the hands behind the head without interlacing the fingers you don't want to pull on your head and neck press your elbows back so everything is in line shoulders chest elbows in line and pop the chest up as if you're trying to reach the ceiling with your heart lift 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 elbows back 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 lift 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 big breath in and exhale round the back and bring your elbows in really lengthen so here we're really elongating everything the neck the back the shoulders are stretching <laughs> inhale look up lift 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 through the chest elbows back 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 really focus on the elbows back exhale rounding one more do this a few times during the day on your own and you will feel the difference exhale <laughs> great interlace the fingers press the hands away from you and try to even um, evenly distribute again the stretch through the wrists so press evenly through the palms of the hands reverse without locking the elbows just extend stretch stretch let's press the same thing over the head look up come on to the tippy toes lower down look up lower down try to press the palms of the hands towards the ceiling evenly opening the hands lift and lower lift and lower great exhale behind see if you can clasp if not palms of the hands facing each other if you can clasp then press your hands up if you cannot clasp press the hands up look up 
and allow the shoulders to stretch here for a few breaths. This relaxes the shoulders. Let's reach over to one side. Reach over to the other. Back to center. Now we're gonna create an O with the face and look up. So the whole face is stretching. Usually when we're doing mental work, the face creates tension and that also feeds into the brain. So we are keeping the entire body tense, the face is tense. So try to create relaxation, drop your jaw and look up without wrinkling um, the forehead. You can touch your forehead, you don't have to, it's even better not to so that you are aware of your face. So all and as if you're rolling your eyes. It may look funny, people may say something, but it's one of the simple things that are not that weird. <laughs> there is a lot of yoga poses that maybe look weird in an office, so we're trying to keep it. Okay, a few neck rows, that's really okay to do, even if people drop in <laughs> on you and catch in the middle of office yoga. <laughs> So a few circles, neck rolls, circles with the head, changing direction. Try to elongate the neck so you're not compressing and pressing down. And you're really elongating here. Very good, a few shoulder rolls, rolling back, rolling forward. A few arm swings, this is also really good to just relax the body and bring relaxation into the body. Plus, it includes a gentle twist. Beautiful, for the next one, you're going to reach with your left hand forward, spread the fingers open, lower the fingers down, bring your right hand over, and press evenly into the right and left side of the wrist. So bringing the hand towards us, stretching the forearm, and then reverse evenly. Here, you can do it also on a wall. You're gonna walk the hand down either with the help of your hand or with the help of the wall and you feel this stretch and you can walk it up and turn the palm turn the hand palm facing you same thing over to the opposite side either with your hand try to keep everything even and you feel a really nice stretch through your forearm and reverse so palm away from you, hand lowers down. Press evenly into all fingers, into the outer and inner edge of the wrist. Shake, 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 shake. You can shake the entire arm as if you're shaking the tension away. So mind-body connection, imagining the tension. Shaking away. You can bring the right hand behind, relax your shoulder, drop it away from the ear, and bring the other hand behind. Keep the chest open, the shoulders back and down. Looking up, chin lifted. Let's spread the fingers wide open, really spread them open and then make a fist. Spread them open, 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 hold it for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. And for the next one, I'll give you two options. If you have a chair nearby, you can use it. If you don't, you're going to bring the right ankle right above the left knee and you will flex the foot, press the knee away from you, sit back 
and feel the hip opening. If you have a chair, do it. <laughs> you can face your chair and bring your shin bone over the chair and you will feel. You will feel this opening the hip and a little nice hack while you're working. Office hack. <laughs> you can just sit this way and that will open your hip because the hips close in while we sit for extended hours we hold tension in the hips the whole area tenses a lot and in general people develop really inflexible hips which affects the walk um, the posture the lower back opposite side whichever version you're doing sit it facing your chair even the desk can work here for putting the leg up or over or over the knee and actually getting a little workout in the opposite leg all right last pose is going to be squat so begin to squat down either holding on to the chair wall desk come into yogic squat this one might be one of the funnier looking ones today but if you can pull it off a few times during your day do so if your heels are off the floor work your way down over time just hold onto the floor onto the chair and slowly mentally have the energy of the heels lowering towards the floor this opens the hips and realigns the lower back really good for people who have a sedentary job breathe into your hips breathe into the lower back keep the chest open and the shoulders down and with that we conclude today's session i hope you enjoyed it i hope you feel a little more relaxed and ready to go back to work a little refreshed smile and if there is any stress in your day remember to breathe take a moment to just shut this down and take a moment of emptiness in which only the breath is the focus of your attention so remember to take it easy and to flow with strength and ease